Welcome to the Popcorn Junkies. Welcome. Look at this. Shang Chi <laughs> and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Mm -hmm. Isn't it funny how rings are always an important part of any fantasy? Yeah, I don't get the rings bit at all. Why, what, what why do you mean? Ten? You why, why ten? Yeah, but why even rings? Five on each. No, oh, five on that. each arm. I know that. But One for each finger. Oh. Mummy, don't ask questions like that. You've, been, you've you? been around enough superhero films to not ask questions like that. that's why I need magic. Like, <laughs> what, the eternal question, why is Thanos' chin so big? No, that's very true, actually. It's a big question. It's, it's a big question. chin. You could chin. question everything now, but we yeah. just don't do that. Exactly. Oh, okay. We don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In a minute, you're going to take us to Blackpool Promenade, aren't you? I can just tell. <laughs> don't know how. How did that happen? I don't know, Mum. I don't know. Okay, oh, so this um... is the new Marvel Studios film, Shang-Chi. Starring uh, a relative newcomer, Simu. I, I, I hope I pronounced his name correctly. Simu Liu, Simu Simu Liu. I like uh, him. An Aquafina. 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 Benedict Wong, Michelle Yeoh, and Ben Kingsley in it, which we'll get to in a bit. I'm going to be honest. I thought the trailers were really exciting in the build-up to this. Mm. But I had this heavy heart going in. What, oh, did, what, did what, what did you have? What was your expectation? Why did you have a heavy heart? Because it's really an important moment for representation of Asians in mainstream cinema. Yeah. It has with it, if you like, a similar importance to Black Panther when that happened. Oh, okay. And I think it's really important that, that, that it's made. You're using the word important. I got, I got really worried that it might become quite bland because it might be trying to appeal to too broad a demographic yeah. in terms right. of beyond America to say China itself. and. It's interesting in that I think it was meant to appeal to China, which would obviously double its box office for Marvel. Mm -hmm. But China have taken offence, and I'm yeah, it's where there might be bad. In yeah, China. yeah. So they oh. think, so they haven't even successfully overcome that hurdle. So yeah. it looks like China are blocking it. But um, why? I don't know why. But apparently, the um, history of the character that plays right. his dad, like his original kind of character, was very racist. Right. Um, I don't know. I don't really know the details. So, yeah. Like, so I thought this is really important. I. It's a moment, but at the same time, I just had a concern that it was going to play it safe. Mm, it was going right. to be one of those safe Marvel films rather than an adventurous, experimental, challenging film. So, oh, I didn't feel that going in. Did you not? No. I, I mean, I was excited about it, but I just didn't want to get my hopes up. I'd be yes. too excited about it, innit? Mm. Yeah. Maybe I, not being that great, but both the trailers were so good. Anyway, so, I um, didn't have any preconceptions. I, I love fight scenes. Yeah. But, uh, well, you've so, been in a few, haven't you? <laughs> Yeah, in Macau. In Macau. Oh, in Macau. Yeah, now, Mum, you've been to Macau, haven't you? I have been to Macau. Okay, well, we'll talk about that in a bit. <laughs> so this is a sort of origin story. It's been described as an outlier in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which kind of means, yes, as they ref re they reference quite early on, don't they, the, the, the blip and, and yeah. Thanos' clip. Yeah. Thing. It's obviously sitting alongside all of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but it, it kind of can beat to its own drum. It can kind of run at its own speed. And there was obviously some interactivity with characters from Doctor um, Strange, wasn't there? Oh, right. uh, and all that sort of stuff. But, uh, but relatively speaking, this is an origin story. So mm -hmm. they had the freedom to sort of go back, set him up, bang, bang, bangity, bang. Bang, bang. It started with the, his Shang-Chi's father meeting his Well, when mom. it started off like him as a warrior, like That's he was right. the strongest person in the world, and then it's the fight scene between... Um, him and his mum, which I actually really liked. He well, didn't like did. it at all, but... What's actually... the name of the actor who played his dad? Is it Tony Lung? Tony Lung, yeah. Tony Lung is, a, is an old, old... I mean, he's been around for years. I like that scene. Yeah, Kiki um, didn't like it at all. Why didn't she like it? She found it... She just, well, Kiki being very frank is always, yeah, it's just rubbish, is what she said. <laughs> oh, right. I'll I tell you what I liked about... Because what I liked about that opening scene was it established Tony Lung quite quickly mm. he's he's a baddie mm. but it's that really complex thing of a baddie with a heart yeah. and a baddie with, with some kind of compassion and yeah paddy and I, really liked that scene though because he said they did it very like old-fashioned asian yeah. Um, yeah fight scene way yeah yeah yes. i agree exactly and i, I like agree. the way it went from a classic sort of martial arts fight slowly into a scene of almost love making yeah. in a way wasn't it of yeah. romancing yeah. and then a realization Which often happens in life let's face it does it, it must it certainly does fighting to loving and blood really blood. you've been you've been there in macau in macau <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that in a bit uh, <laughs> we may never get there mum no we won't we may never get to we will get to blackpool promenade for sure don't worry about that 
So I, th I really like Tony Leung. So we, we established the mum and dad of Shang-Chi and then we sort of cut quite hard, don't we, to yeah. Shang-Chi uh, or a grown-up Shang-Chi in uh, modern day San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, and he's basically a car valet, isn't he? In, yeah. In a hotel. Yeah. And inter interesting detail here. This is going to be it's great detail. The hotel they were valeting at is the hotel that Maddie got her head stuck in a lift. Oh. It was the Ritz Carlton, San Francisco. She, oh, she got a head trap and she was given a teddy bear. And we were introduced and to we're Aquafina. And we were introduced to Aquafina because they're two... You I haven't know. been to San Francisco, but you have been <laughs> to Macau. You, where have you been? Macau. Macau. She's been to Macau. Um, I really like, quite quickly, as soon as we landed... So we'd had this sort of, you know, quite magical, mystical fight set up, parents, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. da 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 da, in this sort of far away, beautiful, Asian, Eastern environment, which yeah. I thought all of the mm. rendering of that of that side of things was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, the fight. And also this thing of marking out the circle with your foot and all that. I really yeah. like that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the yeah. sort of circle of love Just and conflict and circle, circle of trust. It's the circle of trust. Circle of trust. <laughs> yes, circle of uh, circle. Not the circle of trust. Um, but then we got to Aquafina and Simi Liu. And, and what did you think of them, the two of them? What, oh, like them together or yeah, what they yeah. were? I, I, I mean, I really like Aquafina. Yeah, I, I, I do, just find her. Yeah. And it was really interesting as well because um, Patrick saw it and he hasn't seen her in anything before. Right. So he said that her voice really reminds him of Scarlett Hansen. That's what I said. Yeah, oh, yeah. And oh I my said, God, that's it really does. does. It's like if you close your eyes, it could be oh. the same person. Yeah. And I really liked her and it was nice to have that kind of side character that is weird and kind of gets all the nonsense. Yeah. But, um, and I actually liked him, I think, a lot more than yes. I, I think you and mum and Yeah, your mum felt he was a bit hesitant. I came to like him by the sort Did of you? middle of the film. But mainly because he was dragged Aquafina dragged her attraction to him, dragged me into right. it in a way. I mean I think she's such good value. Yeah, she is. And uh, I don't don't know him at all and um well, he's in a the end, I liked as, him. As a, as I say, he's a relative newcomer and it's funny because I did come out of the cinema saying I was a bit kind of agnostic on him. Since seeing it and since thinking about it, I quite I think what he was going I for. I liked his performance. Yeah, well, I think what was perhaps they were going for in his performance was what uh, Tom Holland was going for in his first Spider-Man, which was a disorientation with yes. his situation. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you suddenly find you're Shang Chi, and you're this fucking you know stupidly powerful, remarkable person who comes from this remarkable place yeah. and parents. As Aquafina said, yeah, who are somebody you? have told me. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the, but on the... Well, also, I think it's quite nice to get a. Uh, like a superhero that's kind of more real. Yeah. Because there are too many superheroes that are just yeah. like, bro. Yeah, you know, that's true. That's like, true. Yeah. A, a return to that idea of someone stumbling across their superhero ness. I yeah, and he was quite that. like almost calming. I'm yeah, just, he was, wasn't I he? Just, yeah. There was something like that. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, I've, I, as I say, I've kind of. The thing I imagine is you never forget what you say as you come out of a cinema. You've got to be very careful when you come out of a cinema. Well, why? Well, well, because I, I sort of. She saw in me a sort of just a wibble and a wobble of, con oh, wibble of, wobble. of, of, of caution in, in running at this. Really, the whole film erupts into oh shit, Shang-Chi discovers he's Shang-Chi or there's something about him that's odd on a bus yes. in oh, yeah, San Francisco. That, that Scene is amazing. Tell us why. It's so good. Well, the fight, scene, the fight is yeah, just why? amazing. Yeah, but why? How did they make because it? Because it's all so confined and yet and yet expansive and confined and yet expansive. Right. And it's before Macau. It's before Macau. I really like well, that. Well, so that was the, the it was that scene that we saw a lot in yeah. the yeah. trailer as well, which we were you know the so double head kick. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, That's I could amazing. watch that double but head just, kick. The choreography yeah. was so good in it. It was so it good, was. And, and where they chained the choreography to where obviously they have CGI when the bus splits open, and the, I thought it was really expertly rendered. Yeah. The special effects there, I mm, thought yeah. you had a real sense of you, you know, when you saw someone hanging on the outside. This that's always the test. Mm. You believe the choreography in a fight, but as soon as like in a, especially in a Marvel film, they are thrown out of the thing, and you know they have to have CGI'd it. Do you yeah. go with it, or are you mm. kind of looking at how impressive? And I, I really went with it. I yeah, thought, I thought it was yeah. great. Um, and what about the dude who was filming it? Oh yeah, yeah the twi was like was twitch stream. Really funny moment. That yeah, was streamer. really real, as they say, wasn't it? So yeah. it made you feel that it was, it was actually what, happening. Man? It was real. Oh, it's down with the kids. It's down with the kids. <laughs> really, it's really real. Um, Sorry. And then so it, it, it dawns on us that, well, I'm not going to go to the whole plot, but it dawns no. on us that essentially he's this guy and he's um, he's got this pendant that mm. his mum gave him. Yeah. There's these baddies that want to get the pendant and the baddies are actually sent by his dad. Yeah. Yeah. You can never be sure. I know. So what did you think? How did you say, and essentially it becomes a long protracted sort of classic superhero fodder of 
fighting evil, uh, it's trying to escape the people that are sent after them, all sorts of kind of fights and kind of action action scenes, weren't there? Mm. Yeah. Uh, building to a huge crescendo towards the end where he confronts and, and, and faces his father and all that kind well, of stuff. You've, you've it um, right. yeah. yeah. Is that the yeah. film? Yeah. yeah. But I want to go back and just unpack the bits that we well, like. Can I just say that yeah. as well as Mary Macau, I had a jade pendant as well. You had a jade pendant? Which I lost when I fell over on the bank underground and never found again. So actually, yeah. I'm probably Aquafina. In terms of setting up a brand new superhero in the Marvel Universe, did they do a successful job of that? I, th I, th I felt like they did. I mean, I, I enjoyed it a lot. No, I and I think also one of the things that you guys said after we saw it was that you felt like there were too many um, kind of boring explaining bits. But I, I actually felt with this one that Maybe it did. did th no, but I also think that it did it less than most Marvel yeah, films. Yeah, right. no, I agree with that. Like, especially the Avengers films, there are times where you're literally sat for almost half an hour and they're just talking about something. Yeah. yeah. So um, I don't really mind those bits and I just thought that the fight scenes were just so well choreographed and like mm -hmm. awesome that it was yeah. hard to... Yeah. I mean, they were using a lot of flashbacks, weren't they? They, mm -hmm. they would flashback a lot to yeah. Shang-Chi as a boy yeah. uh, with his father and his father was training him up to be a killing machine. Yeah. And his sister. Yeah. And, and his, his sister, sister, absolutely. And then there was obviously that very moving scene where the mum he went away, didn't he? And then the yeah, mum gets, the mom gets murdered. murdered. Yeah, and I thought I the training was good, because sometimes in these films, the training sequences, like, I was oh, thinking, yeah, I was thinking things like it. Kung Fu Panda and stuff like that, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's no, a bit kind of, all right, here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, the but they of, did it really good. I thought they did it differently. I, I sort of thought, and this will be my age rather than you guys, as I, I don't know if it's a long film, I wasn't bored for a second, but it's I two remember- Two hours, 15 minutes. Yeah, I remember I thinking, I haven't seen this much fighting, karate type fighting, since Bruce Lee. Right. And I was a huge Bruce Lee fan. Yeah, were you? Yeah. 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 And um, I forgot how much I enjoyed that. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I was I was reminded of a lot of those 90s movies by Zhang Yimou and, um, yeah. you know, uh, Hidden Tiger, Crouching Tiger. Oh, yeah, yeah. He came later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was that sort of 90s resurgence, wasn't there, of martial arts, yeah. sort of, but stylishly, beautifully shot martial arts. And The Matrix actually picked it up. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I, I mean, was it appealing to you and did it appeal to you your boyfriend Paddy on that sort of um, anime martial art <laughs> oh, yeah, type. Sure. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, Patrick's really into Asian culture yeah. as a whole. So and yeah, I, I, but I so did I. I just thought that the fight scenes. It's just I just find it so much cooler. Yeah, that kind of fighting, like it just it makes all the other Marvel superhero films a bit. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit yeah. too punch, thud, hit yeah. with a shield. Because it's almost like they're dancing. I was going to say, because yeah, essentially it's graceful in the it way it dances, isn't yeah. it? As one, well as killing people. <laughs> one of my favourite scenes, and this was in Macau, they went to that wonderful, I thought one of my favourite locations was that scene where he had to fight the monster. Oh, his sister's place. His sister's yeah. place. Oh, that's right, his sister was running this place. Yeah, a successful business woman, by the way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she ran it, set it up at the age of six or something. 16. Yeah. 16, yeah. that's right. Which is a kind of gambling sort of fight club, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah, For creatures yeah. and people. Mm. And Shang-Chi is thrown into this situation. And then off the back of it, I thought, I really liked the bamboo scaffolding scene. Yeah. Did you? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought that bit was so really cool, stressful. but I was so on edge. I bet you got proper vertigo. Proper vertigo. Yeah. If I saw that in IMAX, I'd be vomiting. Oh, if, if I was in that scene, like if I was in that situation, I would have died straight away. Exactly. I've always wondered how bamboo, you know, how it works. Scaffolding. I know it works. But I don't, I've always wondered how, how do you know it worked? Well, because people go up and down. <laughs> uh, can I ask, was Macau, Macau like Macau you remembered? It? Yeah, yeah. It's like a film set, isn't it? It's like Blade Runner. Well, it's, I, yeah, because I've like never been to Las Vegas. Mm. And, well, Hong Kong's like Blade right, Runner. Right, yeah. It was when I went. But yeah, um, yeah it is like their version of um, found, all fountains and lights. And, yeah. and I think even Blackpool. Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> Blackpool Promenade is a little bit like Macau. No, it's not, Mum. No, I know. I gave no, you that. So I thought there were great moments of cinematography in this, like within that scene in Macau and, and the bamboo uh, scaffolding. Beautiful shot where they were fighting against each other and yeah. they just shot it against the neon lights and so you had yeah. them silhouetted. Yeah. yeah. Really, really rich. And there was a moment later where, who was it? Who, someone said, we've just put a key in a key and it's turned into a watery thing 
Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, it's Aquafina probably Aquafina, yeah, 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 yeah. But that wonderful moment with the water, it's in the trailer with the water. Yeah, kind of. yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Really cool. It is. Some really it nice was, effects. Yeah. I, I, it's one of the, I'm, I'm very resistant to CGI, even when it's necessary or done well, but I thought it was, I thought it was excellent. I also found the film quite sad, like, I, I was Ooh. so, um, it was so sad seeing all of the, like, flashbacks when he was so mm. little, and he was already being trained, and like, you know, when the dad brings him along with him when he, like, murders yeah. all the people oh, yes. that murdered his wife, and the little, like, Shang-Chi's just stood there with his little suit jacket on, like, all those bits broke no, my heart, he, and the he part, was like, when we realised that the dad's kind of, Not um, very nice. No, but like his evilness no. was just because of how much. Yeah. He well, really actually, loved. he's very expressive to me. Oh, he's he such a good actor. Things, I think he's, he's such a good actor. And I think it was such brilliant casting because I really cared about him. Yeah. yeah so. And you know, normally speaking, you don't care about a villain, and and it's even a, even a malevolent father. I really believed that love and the rings have contorted, you know, yeah. he'd been contor his love had been contorted by the ring, I and mean, it's a bit golem, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. the ring, yeah, the yeah, twist, yeah. Oh, my precious. Yeah. But he's got ten, he's got ten of the bloody things. Yeah. Um, and I thought that was a really, I thought he played that really well. I, I felt that sense that he was like, you know, he, he potentially was good, but he was just yeah. ruined. Yeah, 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 I did. I mean, he's very expressive. Now, you can't review and the... Ben Kingsley. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, you can't oh, review really? this without, without getting back to the Mandarin. I mean, which Iron Man was he in? Iron Man 3, three I think. Yeah, where yeah. He, um, he remarks about his Macbeth at That's why, he's, that's why yes. he was in it. Oh. Yes, the Mandarin. Because he was the Mandarin. Because I, I, I saw it separately from these guys. Yes. And I, did, I thought, <coughs> when Ben Kingsley first comes out into it, it you know, with... All the background and everything. Yeah. That cannot be Ben Kingsley. I know. I wasn't expecting. Him I to wasn't be expecting him at all. all. I mean, for me, he was an absolute joy in the he middle. Was. I mean, I've never heard Nadia was. Your mum was roaring with laughter. He's really great. Funny. He's really good. He is. He was really. I mean, because of course I don't know if you remember what his was character. His it was either well, it's, it's or Bad Liver Pudlian. Bad Liver Pudlian. I mean, you right. know, and I think it was purposefully Bad Liver yes, Pudlian. Yes, it was. But all of his phrases and just his spaced outness, because of course he was a complete druggie, wasn't he, in the last one? Oh. Druggie and an alky, and he was just yeah. like, Ugh. He brought much needed, not much needed, but I thought he was a really nice, surreal humour. He came at the, the right minute. time. He as did well. come, he absolutely arrived at the right time. But then I normally don't like these great big set pieces. What did you think of the final act of the film, which was very much this sort of, you know, in this green village. Mm, magical or, in Magical creatures. village. Yeah, I, I mean, I wanted to live there. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Really lovely, wasn't For it? For me, that was the only bit of the film that dipped. Yeah, so, yeah. I think so. Yeah. It became the most formulaic part of it. Yeah. Well, it's just like you always say as well that so many, I know mm. it's kind of the whole point of superhero films, but they just all have to end with a big... Big. Yeah. Bang. Yeah. And it's like, it, it never really holds the film. No, it, it always doesn't. dips at that point. You sometimes like, yeah. wonder whether they... Even, even um, uh, Wonder Vision. Oh they yeah, Wonder Vision. Well. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you're absolutely right. right. Vision flying around, it all had to get really big, everything's yeah, blowing yeah, up. And yeah. It's just like, I sometimes wonder whether they, they never actually sort of sit in the edit and go, I mean, if I was there, I'd be like, Guys, it's a bit much, but then they all look at you and go, We've spent 100 million on that. Season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll keep it. Yeah, yeah. That's probably. the only time that it seemed long to me. Yeah, it when did. the massive thing came out and all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what I did quite like about the end was I thought those creatures flying out of that weird sort of. No, weird. they were yeah. creepy. They were creepy. They were horrible. Yeah. But I could have yeah. done with a bit more detail and I wanted to see them a bit more. Yeah. They were really yeah. horrible. Yeah. They would like take people's souls. Yeah. Yes. I they kind of threw a lot away, like even when they would take people's souls, you know, like right. the really sweet old guy, and you yes. just like suddenly. Yeah, yeah. you're right. You're they right. could have lost a bit of the fight, actual fight scene. Yeah, yeah and it's got a bit of that. Days. But yeah. I also get that we needed to see like Shang Chi's major. Yeah. We needed to see like a big, big fight. Yeah. 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 So, what do we think the future is for Shang Chi? Oh, I can see. What, many, many, many more. Yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. it's done incredibly well at the box office. Has it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Despite China saying, potentially saying no to it. Yeah, the uh, people that I know that have seen it really enjoyed like it. it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a rich addition. And I think. I think, I think was... there's a lot they can also do with it as well. Exactly. Like with other... I mean, one of my problems sometimes with these franchises and, and, and studios is that there are so many rules and there are so many relationships between things that you end up thinking, well, it, it, it runs the risk, I think, sometimes. And I wonder, I'll be interested to see what the next five years brings for mm. DC and Marvel. Mm. You can get almost a bit straight jacketed in, so mm. that it, just for the punter going to see a film, unless you know it all. And I thought what was liberating about this was you didn't know, need to know virtually anything. Yeah. I mean, even the connection with Doctor Strange. And of course, they had the inter-credit moment with um, Mark Ruffalo, the Hulk, oh, yeah. Yeah. Brie Larson. Oh, yeah. 
And, and they, it felt like they were sent off on another mission, didn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. which will be a second one. Which will be Shang-Chi 2 yeah. yeah. from the magic of the four ducks. Mm -hmm. There were five people in the cinema that I saw. It was a huge cinema. Yeah, yeah same there. Mid after mid after. Okay, well, let's sum up, let's sum up and score it. Mom. Yeah, yeah. I'll go first. I really, really enjoyed it far more than I thought. Oh, I would. good. Um, it took me back to the days of me going to see a lot of kung fu and enjoying it then. Yeah. I love to see Macau, <laughs> yeah. where I have been. Yeah. And um, I thought all the actors. I thought Aquafina was. At, I mean, I've mentioned her already, but I thought she was almost vital in a way. She got us into the Americanness of. She carried. She did a lot of heavy lifting for she him. She did I at think. the beginning, yeah, especially. Yeah. And because I know her from other things that she's been in, she sort of was an easy watch, a very yeah. easy watch. And then she's funny as well. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Paddy wasn't sure if he liked her. Oh, really? Yeah, really. well, I've sort of got Found to... Found her a bit annoying, he said. Well, yeah, the weird thing is, I think she's been that. funnier in other things. Yeah, yeah. So I think do her, I. I think her yeah. humour was more... I, I, I don't think they allowed her to perhaps improvise. I think she's very funny off the cuff. Yeah. yeah, she did that film about her grandmother being yeah, about she, to she die. Yeah, she was very good Yeah, she was very good that. But, um, yeah, yeah, sorry. yeah so, uh, and the boy, what's his name? Simu Liu. Yeah, as we've said, I didn't know him at all. Didn't think I liked him much at the beginning, but then Aquafina, I felt, dragged him into into it. And I did like him okay. from, from a quarter of the way through to the end. Mm. And um, and then, as I said already, the, the only sort of bit where it fell, or it sort of, Seem to feel its weight was the um, final yeah, act. The end of the fight. Mm. Yeah. 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 So what would you give it? Oh blimey! Almost for the fight in the bus alone. <laughs> it's such it. a good scene. And bearing in mind that it's a Marvel film and not for everyone. Mm. I mean, those films just aren't for everybody. I'd give it ninety-five point eight. Wow, that's quite high. It is quite yeah, high. Quite I mean, high. I was amazed that I was with it every oh, second. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I was really excited about it and I thoroughly enjoyed it as well, I would say. And I just, it was really nice to see another Marvel film because the only other one we've really seen recently is Black Widow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was really nice to just see kind of like a big superhero film again. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and just like especially this one because Although I love the Marvel films, I just feel like some of them are so similar and like the fight scenes are all too mm. the same. And like, yeah, that's very true. They do just get boring after a while if you're just punching and jumping. Yeah. And, mm, yeah, I agree. But this was just like a whole new, you know, it's just so like fun to watch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like all of yeah. the fight scenes, at no point did I feel like, oh, another fight scene. Yeah. Like, yeah I was yeah. looking forward to all of those scenes. I really enjoyed his performance. I didn't really feel even at the start of it, of his performance, it was like stiff or anything. Mm. I just, mm. but maybe that was just because I was like, I was just invested straight yeah, away yeah. into mm. the film. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I still don't really know how I felt about the magical world. Like mm. even, yeah, even the creatures. I don't know for me that kind oh, of yeah, CGI. Two very big dragony cats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know for for me personally like that. CGI use like that it just doesn't work because it's just so clearly CGI, CGI yeah. you know. Um, uh, but I liked the kind of feeling that came mm. from it and everything. And I thought I really enjoyed everybody's performance. There was nobody that I was mm. like yeah. about. And I really liked the dad. Yeah. And I really felt sorry for him. And I think where this film was really good is like, for me, I cared about so many of the characters. Yeah. And yes. with a lot of superhero films as well, you tend to just be like, oh, like yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. die now, you know. Yeah. But I actually really cared about all of these ones. Um, and Ben Kingsley came at a point that gave his Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah, yeah. a really nice, like, boost. Um, it was a boost, nice boost. boost, boost and, yeah, no, I just, I, I, I just really, I really enjoyed it. But I do agree that I think it, it dipped at the point where it mm. got to the massive mm. fight. But at the same time, I know that that's kind of, they kind of Perfect. have to do that, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and they have to kind of please the people that are going to see a superhero film for that reason. <laughs> yes. I would probably give it 80 out of 100. I feel like it was just slightly too long yeah. for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'd say about 80. I'm okay, well, that's, a, that's a robust score. I enjoyed it. I, I, you know, going in concerned, I really, I found it really zingy. 
I think, like you said, they, they rejuvenated the fight scenes, which is a huge part of any superhero. I think of comic books and it's whack, bat, bosh, yeah. you know, all that stuff. It's part of what you get. And, it, and full credit to them for reinventing something that really is quite hard to reinvent. It's a bit like car chases. How do you do a car chase? That's kind mm -hmm. of again. You know, combining it with kind of well-written, you know, script, characters like the streamer in it. I thought that was very clever. It's just a very well thought yeah. out, yeah. well blocked out, yeah. well executed sort of fight scene. I love the scaffolding. So, you know, this is a, it's an action film. Yeah. And yet at the same time, I thought it, its richest elements were the complexities of his relationship with his dad. Yeah, yeah, and right. I think that was a real tribute to Tony Leung because I think he brought such layers to his yeah, character. Yeah, and his And just his face, so sort of warm and avuncular and you want him to be good. And yeah, so, it was weird because he had a kind face. He had but such he a kind like, face. He the most evil life film. Yeah, yeah that's remember. right, yeah. But um, so I thought that was really rich, and so I really like that. And you're right, because I came out being very judgy, actually, of Simu. And did you know, this is an interesting fact, he used to be a um, extra in office photos for objects. He would just... Yeah, he said he was a stock photo Stock model. photo. He was a stock photo model. Whoa. So for stock photos, you've got someone holding something, it's him. It's so funny. And when, when it did really well at the box office, he posted one of his photos of himself saying, to all the naysayers. Wow. I just so love that. Funny. It's a great, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. American dream. Oh, great. It's the yeah, American no, dream in, 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 in action. Yeah. Um, and I think whether it was intentional or not is a bigger question. I think his almost lack of comfort with what he was in retrospect worked really well. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's how you would be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's how that's how I you would change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I liked all that. I laughed a lot during it. Uh, I thought it was a bit too long mm. and I did feel that there were, I know you and your mum liked them, but I, I did feel there were just moments where it's like, I don't need to be told all this stuff, I'm actually getting what I need from what's actually happening. Yeah, yeah. So I felt they could have trimmed at least 15 minutes out. Yeah. So I'm more where you're at, uh, Maddie. I'm probably going to give it, I'm going to give it 79. Oh yeah. Yeah, just slightly lower. Why not me. 80? Um, because, because I just think I had more fundamentally had more sort of cons I, I just felt it was baggier yeah, than yeah. you maybe and I think those elements that you liked I just I just didn't feel were needed you know walking along by the kind of I don't know the the, the, the statue and explaining your history yeah no I didn't like those bits no. I was just like mm. I found them more bearable yeah. than I but had I, and I also did find the last twenty minutes very sad yeah yeah, like, oh, yeah. Gone, guys, it dipped you know. for me but then came yeah, back up yeah. but, but um, you know I, I, I'm I'm excited to see where he goes next yeah, mm. yeah. really mm. excited there you go guys and the next Marvel film is the Eternals mm. don't know yes. what I so think about what? that no I don't either. No, this is like one of those moments at the end of a Marvel film. It is. Where there's an extra clip. Mum, what are you saying off camera then? I was just saying, do you think I went a bit over the top? <laughs> That's like, sometimes I lead with you with the scores, because I, I, I'm no. curious to know where you're going to park your... So do you want to revise it? Well, it's, uh, essentially it's as a Marvel film that I've That's how we judged like, it. Yeah, no, Mark says that. Well, yes, but it, it makes me feel as if I've overpraised it. Right. Um, I mean, obviously it's not... So are you revising your score? Yeah, well, on the basis of you two, what you two are giving it, I'd give it 89.6. <laughs> I can tell that there was a 0.6 needed in there. Yeah, yeah. For more film and family fun, don't forget to click the subscribe button and make sure to click the bell to never miss an update.